welcome to another ride along with goggles and today we're in Klamath Falls Oregon and we're heading up to Burns and uh, should be you know a route we haven't taken much let's uh, have a look at it on the map and uh, it's not real far 227 miles but uh, I always like going on it I like going on this route here and getting onto this 140 and heading down to uh, Winnemucca that's really cool it's even better when, uh, well, I do have, uh, let's see. Yeah, I've got Reforma in here. So I believe the northern, this area is still, is it changed? I'm trying to remember now. What did they take out? Hmm. Because of the California rework here. Because California is getting a bunch of this down here redone. So, yeah. Anyway, this is where we're going. We're going to go up this 395 and another nice drive here. Well, it's a nice drive all the way up. If you want to go all the way up to Pendleton, this road here, we've been on it several times. This is a really nice drive. But we're going to take this uh, leg of it and head on up there 227 miles. Uh, I believe the job is urgent, but yeah, we're going to take it, you know, as we take it. <laughs> K100 here with uh, the new old school. Uh, truck and trailer, be double, and uh, secure. A 3406B, and um, yeah, it should be a good trip. Uh, let's see, you know, which way out of here? That way. I think you get parked super straight, but it's not bad. I don't think we've. I can't remember, I don't think we've hard parked to be double in a week or so. And it's early morning, 622. Can't see around that bush. We have to be a little careful here. Want to pull out on somebody? So I was mentioning uh, the camera thing in the last video, and I thought uh, Scott to mention the uh, camera thing. I was going by his name and very uh, Nordic sounding name, Swedish perhaps. And uh, I thought he was over there still somewhere and commented something to that effect in the video. <laughs> Says a comment today, oh no, I live in Arizona. <laughs> Oh boy. Yeah. It's it just goes to show we can't make assumptions. It's such a great truck. I suppose somebody would get a hold of it and update it. It would be really nice. Uh, 
Uh, we have this camera here, yep. First time I drove through Klamath Falls uh, in the game was, you know, quite a quite a while ago when it was new to me. And it was coming from, well, probably up in Spokane or uh, not not Spokane, uh, Seattle or that area, and uh, going down to California somewhere. I guess it no, it wouldn't have been Spokane. It would have been. Burns or maybe um, oh I know uh, Pendleton or Ken Kennewick whatever's up there with that yeah up that away anyway it was pretty neat to drive it it was uh, night by the time I came through here and I just had a sense that it was pretty cool around here just even from the driving in the dark and uh, it is a nice area, but this drive out here, and then when we turn off to go north, to go down to, uh, if you hang right, go down to uh, Winnemucca, it's a great drive. We're going to get a load on it here sooner or later. But yeah, see the uh, convex mirror, the spot mirror? how uh, polygonal it is. If somebody could just make those round, I would be really happy. <laughs> I mean, it's just kind of, it's a really, really great mod. The dash is great. The instruments are good. But that mirror sitting there with that old polygonal look is just not doing it for me. They're in a big hurry for a uh, load of pallets up there, I guess. Going to uh, the sell goods store in Burns. Now they uh, buying their pallets right from the manufacturer. So uh, that uh, skin made in the uh, three-part video, the uh, green one, we ended up uh, calling it, I turned it into a trucking company. It's going to be Green Lantern Trucking out of uh, Wichita, Kansas. That'll be the first of the skins for the upcoming Kansas drop when that happens. And. Uh, what I did was kind of different is I made four different versions of the skin for each cab. So there's five cabs, there's 20 skins for the ones with sleepers. Or is there five? Yeah, there's five cabs. Let me think. 36. Uh, no, wait a minute, how's that go? 38. 62, 72. Yeah, there's four caps, I guess. So, four skins, he's 16 skins, and one for the day cap. And the difference in the skins is they simply have a different, like, tramp stamp, you know, the big name up the back of the sleeper. So, it's going to be, uh, or there is, uh, jamming. And this, some of the ideas came from my uh, little poll on the uh, Discord. So sorry, there's Jammin, there's Leprechaun, the Goblin, and Green Meanie. <laughs> so you can choose which one of those you want in the back of any of the sleeper caps. 
I kind of like how it came out. I uh, reworked a few things, you know, took a little more time at it than we had in the video. All the principles were the same. I just changed the fade effect on the rear deck plate. I broadened it out a bit. And uh, same with the uh, bumpers. I don't even know if I got to the bumpers in the video. But it's the same as you fade, how you fade the paint. It's the same uh, idea. And then what you do to do a bumper or the deck plate. I can't remember if we did the deck plate in the video or not. But if you're going to do something that's symmetrical, you do half of it and then create a, you know, copy to a new layer and then flip the other layer and then join them together. Uh, that's kind of scenic back there. This is where we're going to go north, and for Winnemucca we go straight. And here's our destination here. Building site. Oh, I moved the uh, Jake brake in this profile, I guess. Must have it down here on this one. We'll find out when we get to that next corner. Yeah. Run the Jake right by those guys' living room window. How nice is that? been into this mill a handful of times. After 100 yards, turn left. So, I gotta try the, uh, the camera. I didn't use it in the last video, you know, I was so intent on doing what I was doing and I, I didn't take a picture, period photo for the thumbnail for the video I used one that I'd taken as a uh, just an image of the truck Muck out of the way when we get up here to this intersection. It's a good drive. Real lonely out there. You don't go through a lot of towns. I like it like that. I got the Aerodyne going here. I don't often drive the Aerodyne, but uh, I do like it. I thought, well, I'm gonna put on a, a reefer box trailer. So instead of just going with the deflector that I would go all out and go Aerodyne. This is kind of pretty along here too. It's getting back out out there. Kind of desolate here too. A 
to slow her down a bit and keep her between the lines here. Oh, let's try this photo button. Let's see. Well, not right here. I do want to get that uh, lake in the background. Looks more like a gigantic slough, but... Uh, oh, let's get the corner accomplished here. Oh, where's my button? Oh, here it is. Oh, I don't have it programmed here in this profile. Oh, rats, wouldn't you know it? Oh, I don't know if we have a... Uh, yeah, we have a stop coming up. We're going to have a T-intersection to take the road between uh, Burns and Bend, I think. Darn it, I think we do. I'll stop and I'll program that button there. Second pause pretty much seamlessly for the video if I come to a stop. But a lot of nothing out here, eh? Not farmland. Oh, they got go oh, grazing, I guess. You got a cattle crossing there, so imagine the so what they can get out of it. Oh, this is too good here. We gotta. I'm gonna pause up here. Hold on. I pause the video. Okay, theoretically we're rolling again. Now let's try that camera. Well, I wonder what happened there. I don't think that worked out. If it didn't, I'll just edit all that out of the video. I think I uh, exited the uh, film thing or the um, video thing the wrong way. But yeah, sure, some big old country out here. about the rate of knots I was catching that guy at. Uh, I think this is our T intersection coming up. Let's find out if that's on the map. Yeah, that's what it is. Oh, train. Oh no, that's for the for or the stop. don't have much of a load on. It's uh, 31,000, but once again, if we, if we got called into a scale, we could figure out if it was per trailer. Because it's funny how random that seems to be uh, between trailers. When you double them up, sometimes the load is calculated for both, and sometimes it's the advertised weight of the load is just one trailer. I like to figure out, someday maybe I'll figure it out, uh, which trailers are what, and if it's consistent across a type of trailer, like an SCS trailer, maybe it is. So with that, uh, that skin took a long time to put on all of the different vehicles. Uh, 
Well, I spent most of today at it, uh, the uh, Wednesday, and uh, so it was a long day working on it. Uh, and what happened is um, yesterday, last evening, I got the notion. I oh, there goes one of our trucks. Mulligans. I got the. I must have that single truck going in here. Uh, my AI traffic mod work in progress. But anyway, uh, I took an ocean to do something about the uh, night moves uh, skin for the uh, 379, 389. And so I got a reasonably good start on it. There's still more work to do. But today I didn't touch it. And I'm not going to work on it for another day or two. Because next up, I'm going to do a little how-to video, I think I mentioned this before, on how to update an old skin of yours, if you have one, for both versions of the new 389, 379, and how to prepare your template to make it really easy to do it, to get the update done quickly and accurately between trucks. get that uh, I might even just film that tonight we'll see how it goes this is uh, the evening after supper on Wednesday oh there's where we're going right there sell goods I'll well, see how interesting the parking over there is going to be let's see which yard is it oh that one yeah, they're probably going to make us back around that little cube van there, that uh, body job. I have a sneaky suspicion that's what it'll be. See if we can do it. Yep, that's where they want it. Right around that truck park there. So I guess that would have been too easy, you know. So <laughs> they put that truck there to make it harder. What's funny here, once I brought in to this same location, but on a different map, the same prefab, a uh, quad trailer that actually got it parked along the fence there <laughs> with the easy parking. That was pretty cool. Quad trailer. But it's actually surprisingly good to drive. It was uh, maneuverable. And it was pretty good. I guess I got myself lined up a little too close to that truck. Straighten it out a little more. All right, straighten it out a bit. Try not to turn too soon like I usually do. I wonder if, I think, oh darn. I think I was gonna get it pretty good, but maybe we can save it. Oh yeah, I did steer out of it too soon. Oh well, that's on me. I think I could have done that in one if I was thinking a little quicker.
Oh yeah, I'm just totally misreading the situation here. Driving like an amateur here. instead of making a mess of that. Yeah, this longer wheelbase on the tractor makes it a little bit harder, but uh, that'll work. All right, a little rusty, been a while. <laughs> okay, let's get the lights off and start to stop the engine. There we go. See how we did. Didn't use much fuel. 10,000 bucks for a fairly short trip is nothing to sneeze at. So what I'll do, I'll put a link to this skin and for the truck and trailer in the description. It's up on Steam, of course. But I'll also put a link uh, if you're interested in that truck we drove in the last one. There's, like I say, there's uh, 17 different skin configurations in the mod. So you can pretty much do what you want with Ruta's W900 with it. It'll work on every configuration of the truck. So I'll put a link to that too. So uh, just in case you want to find it and you don't generally get, you know, because I think, um, oh, I don't, I don't know how many people would, follow me on steam i think it's over 600 and they would get a notification but if you're not doing that then you wouldn't know so i will uh, i'll put a link in and um yeah it was enjoyable and different trip but one of these days we'll get that one down to winnemucca and uh we'll veer off and take another scenic road down there in uh, uh, uh oregon down into um nevada pretty cool Anyway, thanks for following along, guys. As always, I appreciate it, and we'll catch you on the next one. Take care, and bye for now.